This must be the place. I sensed something ominous from the leaf back there, but I couldn't pinpoint its source. And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even... And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even need a concentrated feeling. Grover. Something terrible must have happened here. We have to be cautious. This is a tacit feeling. Let's take out those tacit discords first. Dummy funny? I choose you. Target confirmed. All is fair in war. Huh. Misery follows. No escape. Luminous energy. We'll eat the tap. Dummy funny? I choose you. Oh, into woolly belly you go! Confirmed. I think I found something, Rover. It's time. Ritualistic wooden plaques. But why are they here? They seem to belong to a... I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient... I see. Let's check somewhere else. Watch out. <laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Help. It seems to only repeat these lines. Tacit Discord's attack. This one probably devoured the freak. Turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles. Sorry. No, that's beyond my ability. I just sense some complex feelings, Rover. It seems to be begging for help. But the village is crying. Wait, something truly awful must have happened based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being dis- There must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I'll inform Chusia about what happened here. I'm sorry. I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine. Thank you, Rover. As for the little one here, let's leave it.
The area is a mess. Look, there are many footprints here. Someone was injured. These cards. The Fraxidus is likely behind The Fraxidus? Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxid. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. Fusing humans and tacit discords? We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou. Left by above the artificers are the overseers, leaders with ears. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of them. There is one particularly insane overseer, a man who sees no order and revels in destruction. They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. If he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, Guess you won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent. To hear it from me, then? Yes, I am cruel and twisted maniac. We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances. The girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. Don't worry, I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that to begin with. I heard you've lost your memories. <laughs> Indeed, I'll tell you then. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of con- You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Force it. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living... That's why I'm here. Because I see you as a dear friend, and I want to tell you the truth. But truth hurts sometimes. You could say I'm looking forward to your cho- My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding. Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more, and as you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. Ah. Why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around? So go ahead. What do you see? Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? How typical. The age-old tale of savage wolves and helpless lambs. Good and evil as clear as day. It's a tired s- But let me ask you this. Do you truly believe the real world? Let me give you a couple more tips. 
The truth is far more complicated than you think. First, who are the players in our tent? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable. Now, Rover, the story is yours. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. story begins here. Once upon a time in a peaceful village, lived in the day they toiled for food. And when evening fell, they sought refuge from the loom fables, stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hit, but they always draw from real life. The same story gets told by many. And to each person, whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations. Like us now. Caught in a... This village marks the beginning of my story with Jinjo. So that magistrate led you here to meet me. Ha. <sighs> One day, a shepherd visited the village. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. No, quite the opposite. The shepherds arrived with a wave of his hand. The shepherd could grant his flock obeyed, bowing their heads. They no longer had to struggle for survival. As their once meager lie, the flock worshipped their shepherd turned god praising him and what's wrong? Does my story make you uncomfortable? Imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and pressure from your peers. Wouldn't you? Oh, so we agree all you are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. It's up to the two of us to make that idea The lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock rover. Do you think someone would give you what you- mm. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid off, but true equality is scarce. The world was never a fair play. To receive equal retribution, one must- When every wish comes with a hefty price, people- When they can make someone else bear the price, they all rush to make more wishes. They- Funny, isn't it?
Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. Suddenly, the once doting god stopped fulfilling. After witnessing the black lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the white lambs did? Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Well done. You didn't let any deep. Now, I wonder, what is your answer me and I'll reveal who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? Indeed, the direct culprit was the shepherd. He held all the power, fulfilling wishes at a price. The lamb, unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, they disregarded all the hidden risks. As does that, if they were given another chance, I believe they would still choose. Inevitably, they accepted their fate and paid the price. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Of course, as always, life was the most. Here's my final question. Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush, bro. What is the truth you've uncovered? The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. But the flock found out the truth. <laughs> That's right! Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. The black lamb refused and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. The black lamb got 
in their way, and that of the shepherds' greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes of past sacrifices littering the ground. How do you like my story, Rover? What really happened here? I suppose you already have it. The Black Lamb who rebelled against the rule. The innocent maiden sacrificed. And the villagers who turned, they had it. All the shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and main fun answer, but no. Not even close. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I, we are the Black Lamb. No one. No. <laughs> Inter well then, let's see if this black lamb is going to end up. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Oh, you found us already. Shake and Sheffer blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Who's the sweetest one ahead? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this, uh-uh-uh. Don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. Such brutality! <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred spirits. Tell me, do you want to be the rule setting shepherd or the rule breaking black lad? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason? Or the soul apostle. Think about it. The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the black lamb can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors. Give it to me. All is fair in war. Summer! Unleash the fangs. Over.
I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from him! Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your- No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need- Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminder. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice. We'll meet again in the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Oh. Don't worry, Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only send it took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. such vivid emotions the brother had mentioned yes that is a possibility since scar had been here before let's talk about it later rover it seems all the tragedies in tea tree village were linked to that ritual making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs we cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place. Hmm. What's the matter? Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Rover, do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes, as I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. There is
is such a big opening down here. How odd. This place should have been soaked in water, but everything is dry here. Even the vegetation is thriving. That tree, it's stunning. It's... Please, save us! Are you trying to tell us about... something hidden here? Where did it go? Oh, is that a... diary? just wanted to save her village, but those sacrifices didn't- I guess the tacit discord we saw stay- Please excuse me, it's getting a bit too cold here. Sorry, Rover. I didn't- The air was heavy in that place. Without any wind to speak of, the villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope. Resentment. And what was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful wife she wants? And I apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again, but I still lack the confidence. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything and really? Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. Yes. Let's go back.
is fair in war. It's time. It's time.
it's time. Monsters into sh Wanna take a look? <gasps> yes, please! Okay then, here you go. Ah! Candies! Try some. I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. See you soon. Hmm. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. You must be that famous rover. Hiya! I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. You really are different from everyone else. So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Yeah, the lion dance troupe. We do cool lion dancing shows for parades. Oh, and lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. Well, actually, yes, it is. Jinjo people love feeding our guests. It's our way of showing hospitality. Get ready to be blown away by the amazing flavors here. But right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn him down. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these pers- We can even customize the performances, but first, gotta figure out- Rover? Wanna come- We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Great! Let's go! Okay, let me think. My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. It's time. Blessings grace your door, good luck and fortune evermore. 
Aw, the lucky greetings. You're from the Lion Dance troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up the time? Ah, uh, here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a Lion Dance show on the same day. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. Nice. Just double checking again. Correct. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your qu means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. One spin for a decade past. Thank you so much. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy to hear that. Done. Now, on to the next client. Hmm. I remember it's a young couple. Blissful union, endless delight. Love eternal in thee a light. Oh my! Look who's here! Come here, Ling Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you, and this one. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that Lion City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the- Really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the Lion Dance officiant. It's an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the lion dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands. It's called settlement. It symbolizes, I know this wedding means everything to you, and I don't want you to have any. Your love is rock solid, and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would, how about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, isn't it still a, and it symbolizes, to the world's end, your hearts aligned, to the sky. Oh, that's so sweet. My partner's a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. Zheng, what do you say? Sure. I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. No problem. I'll wait to hear from you. All right. Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh, my stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. Here we are. This is the place. Hey, a mister. Lion peppers on the beam. May your profits always stream. Oh, hi. Isn't that the Lin Yang boy? What brought you here? My lion dance request? I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope, look, I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the- Sir, there's something I need to- Yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldier. Exactly. So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to- Nah, no need to worry about my little shot, boyo. Just focus on your big- Oh! And you must be... <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Here, try this while you're here. Go on, Rover. Dinner's on me, Mr. Shun Chai. To really get to know a city, start with the f- Yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this now? Let me do something for you. Anything to help you attract more customers. 
Oh my, that'll be my great honor. But what's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. The Jingle Beast? Yeah, somehow the nickname sounds cute. But you know what? It does all the terrible s When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a meat. No, that's not true. The jing... It, it's a... Uh... Wow! Actually, I need this one ingredient for my new snack. But Do you have any other ways to rep- Well, there's only one place left to get it, and it's run by this, apparently, they're in cahoots with the gym. But it's crazy expensive. Five times the usual. I'm just a small shop. So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Me? Oh, it suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the... Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon. <laughs> oh, that's typical Lin Yang. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand. He's quick and strong. Nothing seems to faze him. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret. But even... Rover, can you go check on him? Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned is in the residential area, just past the square. It's time. Sorry, but I'm not the one you're looking for. I never made any lion dancing requests. Rover, what brought you here? It's not a big deal, really. Thanks for coming to check on me. I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific requirements. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Please, one moment. Beishi. How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice, and since he said he's from the Bay family, there's only one of Beishi. Has something happened to you? <sighs> I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. You can trust us. It's about my brother, Bei Ji. It's been a week now, and he's still- A week ago? That's when I received this request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw- My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back, after a big fight. I don't even know when he left. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're. He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I were. Yeah. The savages seem shady, but the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? I see. Rover, you're so clever. Beishi, leave it to me. I'll help you. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi. You really want... It's dangerous out there with the TD outbreaks happening more frequently. I can't guarantee your safety if we... I... I can handle it. I used to be a member of the Pioneer Association. Us pioneers never, never back down from a challenge. But I... If you insist. Okay, but we'll need to ask Rover about it. He's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer. To be honest, I don't want to drag my friend into this. But this is an emergency, and Beishi wants... Rover, I know it's a... But please... Please help me. Amazing! The guy who brings my packages is always the same dude. Okay, let's get this dealt with. 
Rover, are you ready? Should be around here. Wait, there's someone calling for help. Over there, the Hu chiefs are attacking someone. All is fair in war. Thank you, you saved my life. Are you all right? Thanks for asking. I'm fine. I could have run away, but then the packages wouldn't reach- Of course. We promise, we deliver. We're searching for a missing person who you- Sure, you just saved my life. I'll tell- Hmm, uh, I'm sorry, but this doesn't ring any bell. But we just checked the package tracker, and it said you were the del- m Maybe it was a mistake? I see. The savages, yeah, sounds familiar. Do you know the Tingle Beast? That monster everyone's been- You mean the Jingle- Yeah, whatever. That it said that they know how to communicate with, so people have been paying them. That's all I know, sir. Thank you, but I've got one- Do you know where we can find the savages, or- Sorry, but we have our rules to- But, I heard the Jingle Beast is often found. Those working on the guard tower can often spot- I see. Thank you for answering my question. Sir, may I remind you, that thing is very dangerous. And there may be more than one of them. Don't worry. If there really was a second Jingle Beast, well, I'll have to see it for myself. Oh well, we didn't get- Yeah, at least now we know the Savages and the Jingle Beast are definitely connected. Besides, did you see his expression? He seemed frightened. I bet he was hiding something from us out of fear. Well, at least we still got some clues from him. Like where we can find the Jingle Beast. But, but there are so many campsites in the wild. How can we pinpoint its exact location with a couple of words? Follow me. Let's keep our eyes open. Campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. I think I know where it is. That's the place. Let's look around and stay alert. Keep your fangs sharp. From the size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The broken tree... It should be somewhere up ahead. Let's keep walking. 
Hmm? I just heard people talking. It's coming from above that slope. It's time. Shh. Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise. How did it go? <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor really did the trick. So they're really here? Shh, keep quiet. Do you see these bushes? These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. Hmm, he's too nosy. Let him go find the beast if he... And then we'll handle him. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast... Let's see how he feels. You get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're... <laughs> what? You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone, let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew, are they gone? No. Wait, they're still near. I can still hear them breathing, but they're still inexperienced. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Let's go check it out. It's time. This is... This is my brother's device. How could this be? Is my... Hey, she. What kind of... He's shy and careful, but not sneaky. Bei she. Sometimes we have to use our hearts and logic. Thank you. Rover, you found anything else? It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. They might be using this to make people. They're not just spreading rumors. They are also selling spoiled meat. Ugh, it pisses me off too. The top priority now, now we have another problem. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. Rover, I understand, but they are super alert. It'll be too risky for- I want to ask you to take Beishi and she'll be safer with you. If anything happens, I'll call- Thank you, Rover. You take care of- This thing may still be working. Hmm. Ah! Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. Perhaps you were right. Your brother- I don't dream of your forgiveness. Farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast. It's my brother. It's probably because I joined the Pioneer. My brother was really against my decision, but that was my childhood dream. I... I don't know. He... Ah! No. It... I know. A while ago, 
when I was on a mission in the wilderness. As I struggled to escape, I heard the sound of a bell ringing in the distance. I... I can't remember. After hearing the bell, I just kept running without looking back. That bell... If I hadn't made it, perhaps I would have been eaten by the Jingle Beast. So yes, this must be the Jingle Beast again. All right, let's go. All is fair in war. is not part of my pay. It's all yours. Rover! Wow! It's only been minutes while I was tailing the savages. I overheard them talking about where Beiji went. But I didn't... I didn't see anything like, let's stick with the Beiji. Do you remember what we overheard at the campsite? They mentioned a noob and just now, they sent him to... I'm sure I did hear the bell ringing, so the... Well, given how big it is, I don't think... I do smell... Based on what we've gathered so far, the newbie... Rover, I've... I probably shouldn't be asking you for more help, but Beiji is in danger. Could you please help us rescue him? Your help would mean everything to me. Yeah, his sister is su I... I'm going... My brother's in there. I... Beishi. But it's really dark inside. Besides, I have a... I need you to go back to the city as fast as you can. But I don't want to run away from... Beishi, as an explorer... A seasoned explorer knows how... And sometimes, choosing to... Please trust Rover and me. We promise to bring your brother back safely. Yes, I will. And please stay safe. No worries. We'll bring him back. different smells. Plants, beasts, tacit discords, and 
humans. I'm pretty good at pathfinding. Leave it to me. Look, I bet Bei Ji, from what Bei Shi described, Bei Ji doesn't sound like someone, but why does he have this bizarre obs- I guess this is the only way ahead. Tricky and narrow here. Tacit discords could be hiding. Let's be careful as we move on. Like one just appeared. I'll handle it. Stay back. The rocks just fell and blocked our way. Ugh. Beiji Here! I'll break this rock! Watch out! There's thorns up ahead. Let's jump over them. <laughs> Gale storm! Rover, see those glowing plants up in the cave? They help us find our way in the dark. Pretty handy, right? But be careful. Our enemies can also use these lights to locate us and set up an ambush. So we can't stay too long in the light. Whoa! This guy is completely... It's not too difficult. Oh. And it keeps one nostril. <laughs> the scent is coming from below.
The rocks here look so funny. They kind of resemble the plum blossom poles we use in lion dancing. How about this? Kick, kick, slide, twirl, and glide. Oops, sorry. I always recite this as I hop on the poles. I got carried away and said it out loud. Hmm, so many thorns here. One prick from these thorns hurts more than a fall. Let's glide over them. Gale storm! Thorns? Rover, I'm here with... The Noctiment smells near. Let's go and have a look. That's it. The Noctiment we're looking for. Now we can safely distract that spearback. Lions rumble, evil crumble! Watch out! More tacit discords! Let's 
with you. Cherish every gain. I found a shortcut. Let's go this way. of the past. <gasps> Phew! Been a while since I last swam. This feels so good! Wow! I didn't expect the inside of this cave to look like this. This is so beautiful. This plant only grows in dark places, and I haven't seen it in a long time. I miss it a little. Let's keep moving. Where'd you think you're running to, brat? Didn't expect you to make it this far. Oh well, at least we'll- I... I know all the dirty things you've done. I, I, I've already sent out proof. Even if you kill me, there are still brave people out there. They will stand up to you. I know they will. I knew it. Bait. Oh, our prey is finally here. Who are you? Run. Run, don't even think about it. You think you were... S we saw you spy in the... And now we gotcha. Time to pay for your s Boss, you're the best. Surrender now, and you may die in one piece. Why would you choose to live like a beast? If you call yourselves beasts, then you should know. Ev Sometimes, a beast pretends to be weak, to give their prey a false sense of security. What? I haven't been this angry in a while. Rover, we'll show them. Since you've chosen to act like beasts, I'll handle you the... the sounds. Don't worry, I've got this! Oh no, boss. I heard once his tail starts wa- So what? Uh, but his tail's wagging like crazy now. <sighs> I haven't revealed my true strength. Wow. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me in the wilderness. Submit while you can. Or would you prefer getting torn to shreds? <laughs> you startled those things away. Boss. Well, uh... We're fighting them? We're running, of course. What? Wait, wait, boss! Rover, watch out!
Don't you dare lay a claw on him! You see this side of me. Thank you. I'm alive! Thank you for saving me. Oh, and, uh, sorry, but, uh, who are you? My sister? Peishi? She's been worried about me. Is she doing... That's good to hear. I didn't expect she was sorry I made you worry, too. Yeah. I can... Our parents were both members of the pot. We've been struggling to survive since the day she... She said she wanted to join the Pioneer Association. She's the last family I... I tried to ban her, but to be honest... When she... Unlike me, she is brave, positive, and always willing to try new things. Looking back on it, I was holding her back from pursuing her dreams. Yes, I shouldn't have... It's too dangerous here. Your sister's been worried about you. Why? Why did this happen? This is not what I had planned. Behave! Ling Yang! Rover! Thanks for the tip, young lady. Ling Yang! Rover! Are you alright? Beishi! 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 Though seeing your re I still gotta say, this isn't the right-
It's time. It's time. It's time. So, when you found out that Bei Shi lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast, you came up with a plan. Yeah. I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. And I heard rumors about an exile group called the Savages. So I thought... Yes. I wanted to prove... I just wanted to show her. If her timid brother could do it, so can she. But in the end, I failed. Couldn't find the Jingle Beast. Couldn't beat the bad guys. I I'm just an incompetent coward. I've always been. No! At least you didn't choose succumbing to desire, and it's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts. Even sac- It only takes a moment for a human to de- but holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commit- Beiji, you've- I'm sure your sister- R R Yes, I love you- Okay, yes, I we now know the so-called jingle- So, Beishi- But I- d Perhaps it was just your imagination. No way, I heard it loud and clear. I, I couldn't have mistaken it. Hmm. I guess we still need to help Bei Shi get over the Jingle Beast. Rover, Ling Yang. Sure. Go get some good re Uh... Don't tell me you- No! No, sorry. Actually, I made the- But now, I guess- I see. I know you've still got questions about the Jingle Beast. I see. Yeah! Rover, I know- and there are things I'd like to discuss with you. Please, follow. Keep going down this road and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well, let's just hang out a bit while we're here. Sir, may your business boom! Thank you, Lin Yang. After our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I must do what I can to keep it thriving. A happy wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Lin Yang. <laughs> Miss Ganshua's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them. You're fu- Oh no! Rover, could you look- I'll be right back- oh, Hurry up! I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> 